Fifty years ago, in the time of Bela IV, king of the Magyar people, word came the Mongols were massing on the other side of the Carpathian Mountains. King Bela sent the bloodied sword to his barons to call them to arms, but they were so busy squabbling that none responded. King Bela wrote to the emperor and the pope pleading for aid, but all he received were missives stating they would pray for his and his people's souls. Much sooner than anyone expected, the Mongols came over the mountains and began attacking Magyar homesteads. King Bela raised an army of 65,000 men and horses, and they rode to the field of Mohi to prepare for the impending battle. What you must understand about Mongols is they believe in total warfare. They destroy everyone and everything in their path. Entire villages will sooner commit mass suicide rather than fall into their hands. The Mongols had two goals with the invasion of Hungary. The first was the complete annihilation of the Magyar people. The second was King Bela's head on a stake. Battle was joined that cold and misty morning. And the Magyar were no match for the Mongols. Time and time again they would attack, only to be repulsed with heavy losses. And finally, King Bela knew they could not win, so he called his generals to him, saying, We must plan our retreat. His generals immediately began arguing with each other over whose plan was the best. All they cared about was saving their own skin. But one man sat down. Silent. Danish Tomai, His Majesty's Palatine, His Majesty's bravest warrior. He would lead his men time and time again against the foe, only return unscathed, covered in enemy's blood. Finally, he could take no more. He stood up, crying out, Enough! You quarrel like old women! We have but one goal, and that is to save His Majesty's life. Therefore, I propose the following. I will don King Bela's armor, and I will take up his standard and lead my men to face the foe. He knelt before King Bela, and his majesty placed his hands upon his head as tears ran down his face for the sacrifice this man would make for him. Then the Shomai rose, went to his men to tell him the plan, but he told them not all would be needed. Some could stay, with no loss of honor, to guard his majesty's flank as they escaped. But then Ishtomai's heart swelled with pride, for none of his men would turn aside from this suicide mission. They went to the priests to receive the final rites, and then Ishtomai donned King Bela's armor, took up his standard, and led his men to face the Mongol horde. Now perhaps you would like my story to have a happy ending, yes? <laughs> we are Magyar. Then Tomai and his men stood bravely against the Mongols as they were slaughtered to a man. But loud were the cries of the Mongol prince Batu when he realized he had not slain King Bela. But his palatine, Danish Tomai. King Bela escaped across the Danube and returned a year later to lead our people into the Second Golden Age. And until he drew his final breath, King Bela gave thanks to the Lord for Danish Tomai. Is mad.